Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Play Canvas Office Hours, where we work through problems posted by the community. I'm Steven Yao, otherwise known as Yast on the forums, and today we're looking at a project um, that was actually done by someone from the community. Uh, let's look pronounce their name right. Um, there was a question on... here we go. Uh, the, uh, on using a particular project uh, made by... Uh, comment commentation commentation uh who made the popular game uh, avengers.io and uh, they created a project where you can have um text input elements on the play canvas ui screen uh which actually looks quite uh which actually works pretty well so we go on to here have a quick play of that it's a place where you start putting usernames there's drop downs and all this is positionable within the play canvas ui uh system however uh, there was a user oh we've gone back a user that said uh, that it doesn't work with di uh, device pixel ratio and uh, device pixel ratio is where you use uh, when it's enabled it will use the native resolution of the screen rather than what is known as css pixels which is the resolution it because it explains it correctly um where it's the resolution that the website presents itself in so there's like two different um there's several different ways that it, uh the res the so the virtual resolution can change within a web page. Um, so in this particular sense, it's basically a case of use device pixel ratio, which takes in case, you know, takes into account of the pixel density of devices. Um, so it will be sort of one to one pixel. Um, so one to one pixel density. Whereas if you disable it, it will be to a virtual pixel density, uh, which is usually a lot smaller. And generally, people turn it off for performance reasons because if you have it like uh, native resolution it's normally lowers the frame rate of devices especially on low-end devices so it's normally reserved uh for like top-end devices like phones desktop etc and um what developers tend to do will do this dynamically they will detect either the frame rate or the gpu if it's present and then give a kind of nice uh, trying to work out a rough value of the device pixel uh device pixel ratio to run the app in but anyway uh the problem they have here is that this project doesn't work with it turned on so let's take a quick look at that so i've uh, forked it already and uh, let's take a quick look at that uh oh there's a lot here uh which one scene is that in template no that's not the right one that's there must be a full scene demo no ui ah there we go let's use it on okay uh what's new so let's just run this i think this was off was that oh, that all works as normal yep that's all good uh let's do enable device pixel ratio then so we go to rendering and device pixel ratio so use the native resolution let's run that and things are very very much off where's everything okay so from what i've understood from this project let's take a look uh tab 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 details let's take a look at some code uh let's look at a toggle item for example back at element script ah here we go uh, input so from what i understand it adds yeah so it adds a native html dom element to the page based on the position of the ui element and i wonder how that's done so if i actually if i go to the launch page again and look at the dev tools uh, let's, let's bring this back out a bit and look at elements so there should be a bunch of elements on the page with all the doms like the input style here we go so yeah, there you go. There's a bunch of stuff that's like misaligned effectively. And at a smaller hmm. And it seems to be at a smaller uh pix uh font size, which is interesting. Let's just try I'll try it. So uh, using the debugger uh, using the uh dev console in the browser, we can run code directly. So let's just quickly Get the app so pc.app and now we've got access to the entirety of the playcams engine i'm going to graphics.device.maxpixel dot dot max pixel where's it max i've forgotten what it's called max pixel uh, max ah, here go. max max ratio so turn that to one to disable it so that's what it should look like okay so the font size going smaller is because i've made i've effectively made the screen smaller so if i increase this yeah so the font size is uh is red hair and there's nothing wrong with the font size in, in relation to device pixel ratio but there's definitely something wrong with uh positioning so let's turn this back to two 
and it's all way off. Okay, so let's take a look at the code here. So what I believe is happening is that there's probably some position data that's not taking account of the pixel density, uh, which should be an easy fix, I think. Um, let's go for an easy one. So we've got for input, text input, uh, width left bottom, update style on focus. Where's the position come from? So position is the elements at screen corners. Okay. Okay, let's do a quick test here and do effectively let's say let's try close all right. So what I think is happening. So that's where I think the position is done is in here. Update style. Because um the way DOM elements are uh, positioned are through style, which is like um saying it's x pixels away from the top, x pixels away from the left, and where it's anchored. So um it's getting the screen so it looks like it's getting the screen co uh, corners from the element. So it's getting uh the different x y positions of each corner on the layout and base it on that so taking the top left corner and the bottom right corner i think zero one two that would make sense or is it does it go in clockwise direction probably might go in the clockwise direction that's why zero one two okay so come back to this so it gets the probably top left corner gets the bottom so zero index one index two index probably gets the bottom right and what's at the width and height of everything Okay, let's see if we can get in the right position then. So, uh, assuming that is text, we're going to quickly clone this. Oh, we can't clone it because there's an array. Ah, nuts. Okay, uh, in that case, let's go. Uh, device pixel ratio. Let's just quickly try something and see if that works. Or at least change something. Uh, this dot app dot graphics device dot max pixel ratio. And then by the looks of things is offsetting is moving everything to the right by the looks of things. What does the server? So server value. Oh no, not moving everything to the right. It's interestingly moving things up and to the right. That is very weird. If anything, I expect to move it up and to the left. Unless it's bottom unless it's doing it from bottom left. Oh right there. So let me try to bind it first. It's either going to be times the pixel ratio is going to be divided to pixel ratio. So let's make this simple. Uh, let's try divide. My hunch is going to say div Let's try that. Oops. Have I got? Yeah. It's from a previous session where I pulled on the court exceptions. Ah, uh -huh. cool. So there we go. That's our text input, and that's in the right position. Sweet. So it was divide, and now we've got to do that for every single element. Ah, uh, yippee. All right, let's do that. Ah, it shouldn't take too long. So oh, actually, let's just make sure that works with uh device pixel ratio one first yep so no change there fantastic okay so we've got to do this for everything else yay uh where's dot y button width button height style 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 is that style pointer compared to default oh there's no button positioning oh what's that is that dom element Left top. Top. Dial. Where did you place it at the start? Um, okay. So we don't have buttons. There's no DOM elements. Okay. Moving on. Chat box. Ah, here we go. Element. Uh... All right. Let's see if it creates an element. So this doesn't create an element besides the empty element. This creates a document element da -da. here we go yep so we just need to do the same again can i just copy and paste oh i'm a bit loath to do copy and paste but it's going to take it's going to take, be so much quicker <laughs> let me just copy and paste near it and just double check the logic i get the feeling this would be oh 
probably going to just do a, uti a utility function. Let's see how many times this is on first. Uh, so do a device for through. I think that's okay. So let's double check tick box. Yeah, that's in the right place. I believe. Cool, that's in the right place. Uh, container. Height, width, element, width, height. Okay. Mm, a bit curious about that one. So yeah, it's pretty much more of the same, really. Still curious about this. Oh, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to leave container for the moment. Cookies, ask for um, the website, fetch, nothing there. Form, nope. Input, done that input. Select, position, ah, here you go. Star, star, star. Uh, border, border, border. Update style. Yeah, it's more the same. So let's do with these ones. Oops. Be curious about what to do about containers. I'm not sure I quite understand the full HTML on that. Slides is going to be interesting. Block, block, block. I don't know. That's, again, more to say. Is there anything else in that? Alright, let's see how much we've fixed there so far. So the sliders working, drop downs working, forms working, tick box working. Okay. Uh, table. Uh, okay. Element width. So I'm not sure what to do about width. Um, that feels like that should be okay because width. The screen corners would be different values based on the pixel density by looks of things. Okay, so let's go back to container. This one I'm not too keen about. This should be update style. Okay, so this should at least be updated this bit. This one? Yeah. I think width is okay. Let me just undo that. Oh, wait, I said that's not quite completely right. So it's uh, divided by finger G. Oh, that's scale. Okay, so, uh, so let's get the position right first. Blah, blah, blah. So this is one place where I don't want to copy and paste. Okay. And scale is doo -doo. okay, so that should be an actual divide. Okay, so I guess the actual width divided by the width of the element that should be okay, I think. And there we go. So we're focus NC, drop down work, sliders work within bounds, source value, email, groups look fine. Check with twist one, twist one point five, check with four. Ooh, four does not look good. What does four do? Ah, I wonder if it caps it. There might be something in the engine code where we cap the max pixel ratio. Still four. So three. So oh, what's my window max pixel ratio? So the device pixel ratio is two. I think there's a bit of code in the engine. Oops, all right. GitHub.com. 
Okay, so let me just double check the engine. Because I think there's something in the engine where it caps the max pixel ratio somewhere. Oh, okay. So if you've not signed in, you can't use the um, very nice uh, visual code in the browser thing. Never mind. So max, let me do it this way. Max pixel ratio. Mm -hmm. So it's the examples. Don't care about the examples. Um... Death frame work. Device pixel ratio. Okay. That's interesting. So we don't cap it. We just forward the wrong result. Maybe the maybe the browser just disable it doesn't like four. I'm actually quite surprised by that. That the code only uh that position UI elements only works up to the point of um window device ratio so if we wanted to we could uh, protect against this by um doing a min max against the window dot device pixel ratio but beyond that as long as we are within the bounds of device pixel uh, window device pixel ratio looks like everything's okay try 1.1 looks a bit blurry try 0.5 looks very blurry but everything's in the right position which is good okay cool so I think that's sorted. What we're going to do is save this and say uh, fix device pixel ratio and we send it back to user. Thank you very much. See you later.